Well, Haldin is a manufacturer of uh, natural ingredients. We produce uh, various type of uh, natural ingredients, you know, uh, tea and coffee, you know, spice and seasonings, and natural sweeteners, your functional ingredients, your fruits and vegetables. You know, we divide our product into those category of growth products. Uh, those products, the ingredients that we have, are used in various kind of application, uh, beverages, uh, dairy products, food products, and spice and seasonings, all the way to personal care products. Uh, well, I guess the main objective as we, you know, looking into this project is how do we conserve energy? How do we use energy in a in a in a better way? so that we also contribute in a, a, a friendly environment. Uh, uh, I guess that's, that's one of the uh, main objectives that you know, we were enthused when it was offered by DEG you know, to undertake this project and we took it very seriously. And uh, this is something that I think it's important for us to do. Uh, so again, uh, uh, the ultimate goal is really to, be, to, to contribute to a better world. Let, let's, let's put it that way. In the beginning, when we again started this project, we found a lot of uh, waste and leakage in our uh, energy line, the piping, the exhaust, some of the energy used. So what we did, the changes that we did was uh, try to cover those leakages, okay? There is a pipe that we change, the area that we install meters so we can measure the amount of uh, energy being used, and uh, area that we have to you know, recycle the energy being used. So there are a lot of changes. I, I guess the, all the changes are good for the company. Well, our achievement has been good. Uh, uh, since this project, uh, what we did, uh, uh, which also changed our uh, consumption of a fuel oil into gas. So we realized you know, the green environment, what we need to do. And we have covered, as I said earlier, covered a lot of leakages that, you know, that waste a lot of energy. So overall, the, the, the benefit that we have has been we're able to save our energy. We can uh, run a cleaner company, a cleaner utilities. So, uh, and then we could have a, of course, at the, at the end is the bottom line and we save, those savings contribute to our profit as well. Well, the challenge has got, first is the human side, right? We need to get the people who are committed that uh, would be the champion in this cause in our company. Uh, that like to really believe in saving energy and create, create a greener environment. So I, I, would, I would think that people would be the number one on, the, on that list. Well, what are the challenges that we have in undertaking this project? Uh, well, if you look at it, I mean, the number one challenge is to get the right people. And number two is to put enough resources to make sure that this project is a successful one. When you look at the resources, there's a resources of financial resources and as well as time spent in getting this project done properly. Uh, what we did was uh, uh, we had created a team that dedicated to get this uh, project done successfully. And number two, again, when we talk about those improvements, those changes that we have to make to improve the usage of the energy here, there are investments, certain investments that we need to make, certain things that we have to buy, certain equipment that we need to improve. Uh, as a company that also watch our bottom line and make sure that we don't spend too much in doing this, then we identifying those things based on priority. So look at things, that simple thing that we could immediately get it done to have that energy safe implemented immediately. And then we move on to the second and the third uh, things on the list and some of the most uh, uh, investment intensive project that we have to make. So this is an ongoing things. This is not a one-time thing that we have made and it's done. So uh, uh, our company continue to look at those things, what we can improve to the uh, green environment. Mm -hmm.